Okay, so we're going to talk on a very, very important topic. It's going to be short. Short and sweet. Uh, depending on your diet, maybe it'll be bitter. I don't know. You may not like what I have to say. You may like it a lot. But no, no, my job is to deliver. So, uh, you are what you eat. Okay? I've done, I did it a while ago. You are what you eat. Now at Noam, and really any place uh, that knows a lot about holistic medicine, like to see oh again, jada to see And we talk a lot about senses, like, uh, you know, what you eat. You can eat of anything, right? You can, you can eat with your eyes. Window shopping. Uh, you can eat with your nose, smell, right? You don't think about it as eating, but it is eating. And a lot of this, all the same rules apply. No, no, no. You eat with your eyes, you eat with your nose. Obviously, you eat with your mouth. You eat with your touch. Because whatever you touch is not forgotten. <coughs> As he told Dini. We don't, we don't, we don't, we don't uh, forget what we touch. We don't forget what we see. We don't forget what we smell. And when one is missing, which one is missing? Hear it. You eat, oh yes you do. You eat with your ears. You listen to the gossip. You listen to the NFL football, Super Bowl. Isn't it Super Bowl time? Close? Grey Cup. Grey Cup, yeah. So yeah. <coughs> Super Bowl, uh, football is okay, I guess, but like it's all the alcohol related um, commercials, right, that everyone likes, and you're eating. So what is it to eat? When you're eating, do you want to see What are the rules of eating? And today I'm going to specifically talk about eating, but I want you to just understand that you eat with everything, every sense. And one of the biggest rules is, is uh, eating equals <coughs> integration. This is a rule. Jadu masi khande andar paada hunda. It's not like in uh, one hand out the other. In one end, some of it out but most of it is stuck. And it gets put through a system. So, jira andar onda, it gets put through a digestive and integrative system. So it's not really like your car. Right? You have your car. You know, you have your you know, wheels. Whatever. Uh, you have your wheels, and you have this thing, and you put gasoline in, and the car goes. That's not how it is. In that, what you don't think about is if you put uh, low quality fuel, what happens if you put low quality fuel into a a uh, high quality car like a Lexus, what do you think happens? Yeah, so it's going to have an impact on the engine. What's the impact on the engine? Engine take Nixon holder. And that little, because what's the difference between like fuel? Quality of fuel, there's contaminants, right? That's why it costs more money. You want pure fuel. You have to spend money 
to purify and get better fuel. So Jesse Banonde Vadia fuel the passive luck. That's why your high octane or whatever that thing is is more expensive. Better for the engine, but more expensive. Because it takes more time. However, low quality fuel will degrade your engine. Because little contaminants will be stuck in all the different places. So eating of any of these varieties means integration. So if you eat low quality, you become low quality. So jayadada to si khande hain, jay to si khraab khande hain, si khraab bande hain. You eat bad, you become bad. At Nam, I define eating as all your sensory organs. And recovery, jayadada si recovery karde hain, Recovery is changing what you're consuming. Sounds simple, but it is holistic. There is no such thing as, well, I mean, you can try it. You go to, you recover by day, and then at night you listen to sex, rock, and, or sex, drugs, and rock and roll. Right? When you're listening to the music, you're consuming with your ears. During the day, you consume one thing. During the evening, you consume another. And your brain has to integrate that. It slows your recovery. And if you consume more bad than good, as confusing as it may be, you become bad. It's just mathematics, it's arithmetic. Jesse Jada Krav Khanya, Changa Nala Sipir Mari Hunni Jandi. And eating in integrating, okay, so eating means integration. I'm going to share some facts. Okay, so bones. So Everything I'm about to tell you is true of all things. Anything you consume, but now we're just going to talk about eating with your mouth, okay? So, you're going to eat with your mouth. So, after about 9 to 12 months, do you think your skeleton is the same one you had? Or do you think it's entirely changed? What do you think? So, this is what you think. Bara mi ne baad, hadiyan oi hai jari bara mi ne pehla si, yaan vakhri hai. Looks the same, right? But orthopedic surgeons, they tell us this. Remodeling of the bone structure takes 12 months. After 12 months, all your calcium has been shifted and changed out. All your minerals, they're different minerals. That's why you broke a bone, you wear a cast for six weeks, 12 weeks if it's a big bone. But then it's, the healing isn't done. It continues for another 12 months. And then it's more integrated. Literally, you are a different skeleton from 12 months ago. Same structure, but it's like andro sadiyan hadiyan badliyan jandiyan cell by cell, little bit by little bit, every day. Okay. Where do you think the energy is coming from? What do you think is the building? Sure, there's some recycling. It's not all recycled. It's what you eat. It will become your bones. Twelve months for bones. Three months for blood. 
Your blood cells are changed every three months. Ten minutes baad, jada khun aala, jada cell, la, jada oxygen pehda, it changes over. It gets degraded and is remade. Three months. Where do you think that comes from? It comes from the food you eat. Some of it is recycled, but not all of it. So what you eat, you eat donuts for your diet, your blood becomes donuts. As a young person, you won't notice. But as you get older, you'll notice. And if you degrade your body with a lot of drugs and alcohol, you'll notice faster. Jeda asi khande hain, sada khun ten minute baad badal janda. Jo bhi asi ho ten minute khada, o sada khun ho to banda. Ye asi khrab khande hain, asi khrab, sada khun khrab. And 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 if your if your if your blood is rotten, if it's made out of, do you think it conducts oxygen? Its function as good as if it's not. Your heart. Three months, six months, you know. Donut heart. Not great. I'm talking at an elemental molecular level. Like my this hand looks stable to you, but and you zoom into it, it's, the proteins are breaking and forming and it looks whole and it looks like it's the same hand, but it's not. And in the West, we've gotten into this idea that we work like, just like cars. But your, your brain, for only three to six months. is entirely remade. So let's say you drink alcohol for 20 years as 60% of your diet. <laughs> is it a surprise that you get heart problems? Or brain problems or liver problems? Is it like, what? <laughs> but, and yet it is a shock, but I'm just trying to illustrate <clears throat> the meaning of this fact. We integrate everything we eat, and we change over rapidly. You cannot consume bad things and think it's not going to catch up with you. So see, khraab, jada tada khraab khana, o khraab system, you, all your body systems, your testicles, your ovaries, your uterus, your stomach, your... Skin, oh yeah, the skin, okay. And then and then let's talk about skin. So like, you get all this like, you know, skin problems and then you put more chemicals on your face that ruins more of your skin. The average person, um, I think for men it's like five or six chemicals. For women, the average is like six, nine to 12 chemicals per day that they apply to their face or their skin in North America. I wonder what would happen if you just ate better. There's lots of stuff, research and stuff on this. Uh, a lot of skin problems are a manifestation of inner anger. There's a lot that's there's a lot written about that. Andronjira Gosao skin with Chambarajanda. That's 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 an Ayurvedic teaching. So the, the, the point that I think I'm trying to make here is eat carefully. This is just of what you eat with your mouth. I haven't talked about what you smell or what you look at with your eyes, what you look, listen with your ears. But what you eat is what you become 
So it kind of makes sense that we're a diseased society. It's Christmas time, holiday season, right? Everyone's window shopping. Once you see something, you can't unsee it. You have to integrate it, you have to digest it. Some of it stays, some of it goes. So in the principles, we talk about, unless it's your spouse, there's no sense looking at somebody sexually. It's not a good idea. It won't help you. You're going to integrate, but what are you going to do with that? You can't act on it. Or it'll complicate your life if you do. But we don't stop looking. You can look at all those purses on the, online, but if you don't have the money for it, it's just going to increase your desire to have something and your misery because you don't have the money or whatever. So why, why look at it? It doesn't make sense. Yes. That's a whole part of it, isn't it? You know, uh, people are watching, what are, you, what are you wearing? Oh, you, in Punjabi culture, oh, you, you wore that suit 18 months ago at the function. I was like, I, someone, like my wife tells me this, right? People notice what she wore, and when she wears it again, like a year later, hey, you already wore that one. Don't you have anything else? <laughs> and it kind of, and then it's like, you kind of need to get more, right? So it's not, it, the problem is a societal problem. It's a family structure problem. It's, there's a, it's a bigger problem, except recovery is personal. We're all here, and we want to get unstuck, and we've got to unstuck ourselves from the craziness. We're a consumption-based society. So jovi asi khande andar paida hunda, and ultimately it's you, you're the one ending up with the problem. Solution has, you have to be aware what you consume without reason. I drank Tim Hortons coffee for years and that probably wasn't good for my body. I met Tim Hortons roj bean dasi, ten charva. I don't know what they put in that. Probably not great, I'm gonna guess. Anything you can mass produce, not great. You are what you eat, literally. Your mind becomes what it consumes. To see khanya, oh ta da sri bande, jo bhi to see akhana cha akdiya, smell kardiya, sundi, oh ta da man bande. And if you're in a good place and your life is going great, do not change. But if there's one guy in recovery said something to me, he said, you know, recovery is pretty easy. You just got to change one thing. Everything. <laughs> but it starts to make sense. Because you didn't end up here. You didn't just end up here overnight. It's over decades you've consumed in all these ways for like 10, 20, 30 years. A lot of your systems are made up of that because of this fact. And so it takes time to change, but not as much as you'd... If you start consuming good things now, well, in three months your, your blood's going to be better. Okay? That, that's the upshot. You have a chance. You just have to be patient. Fast food society doesn't work that well. You start changing now, you will get the benefits in a greatest stepwise fashion. You know? Um, lungs. So there was a study done on lungs, breathing, fifty. Did a smoke car there? Did a heart there? When they stop smoking, they get immediate benefits within days hours, better uh, um, oxygenation, like jada oxygen flow kind like that. But people, even people who've been smoking for like 20, 30 years, okay? 
I can't remember the exact numbers, but it's, it goes something like this. Within a few days, you can do more uh, exercise. Within a few within a few weeks, your your capacity really increases. You don't see band kar diye, so your capacity vadjan diye. And everyone knows lung smoking causes lung cancer. Tanu pata smoke karke cancer ho jinda fifde anda. Tanu pata. Pata? Cancer ji? Yeah, and mouth cancer and all that. Interesting factoid, people who have smoked for long periods of time, after about, I think the number is like three to five years of stopping smoking, their risk of cancer goes to the same as someone who's never smoked a cigarette. Another jail ten ja panch sa vaste ruk de hai onna da cancer wala risk thalle aa jinda doojan varge jehde ne kade smoke nahi kita think about that you smoke for 20 30 years lots of damage by stopping and doing the healthy thing can regenerate your lungs and this is why is because you are what you eat so ਤੁਸੀਂ ਤੁਹਾਡਾ ਸਰੀਰ ਬੰਦਾ ਜਾਂਦਾ ਸੋ ਆਲ ਯੂ ਨੀਡ ਟੂ ਸਪੋਰਟ ਇਟ ਵਿਦ ਹੈਲਥੀ ਹੈਬਿਟਸ ਐਂਡ ਯੂਰ ਬਾਡੀ ਵਿਲ ਰਿਸਪੌਂਡ ਸੋ ਐਟ ਨਾਮ ਯੂ نو ਵੀ ਹੈਵ ਮੇਡ ਸਰਟਨ ਡਿਸੀਜਨਸ ਅਰਾਉਂਡ ਵਾਟ ਇਜ਼ ਕੰਸਮਡ ਇਨ ਦ ਟ੍ਰੀਟਮੈਂਟ ਸੈਂਟਰ ਵੀ ਆਪਟ ਫॉर ਅ ਯੋਗਿਕ ਡਾਇਟ ਇਟਸ ਅ ਹੈਲਥੀ ਡਾਇਟ you know um there's a difference between the different kinds of meat out there this is just for all the meat eaters i'm going to tell you big difference between mass produced meat and wild game big difference in the energy of what you consume as a meat eater for years but indigenous people will tell you fresh meat consumed with devotion and prayer is different than mass produced meat that's just and and this is a society of mass produced meat it's no wonder that people struggle with meditation so really you really have to evaluate what it is you're eating what you're consuming how you're consuming it are you consuming it like a gas station or are you consuming it with gratitude all these things affect how it integrates in your system we are energetic beings so think about that and make one step ek step level socho make one step that you can do and change See, don't believe me. See, make a change in what you eat. Go healthy for like 2 weeks. And see, let, let's say you're a meat eater. Go vegetarian for 2 weeks. And see if your ability to concentrate and meditate is better. If it's not, forget it. Go back to your old habit. If it is, consider what that means. If your thing is meat, maybe uh maybe 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 try to change the kind of meat so it's a healthier one leaner one maybe i uh, make a change in terms of donuts do the opposite experiment if you're not a donut person go eat a bunch of donuts for a week see its effect on your mind see if it's even true aap the munch to the try karo experiment karo sure but do you should experiment Dr. Gill saying if I eat donuts for a week it'll impair my ability to meditate. What come on? What you doing? I'm thinking like like whoa. You can test this. And you should test this. I can say it with confidence cuz I have tested it, but that doesn't mean anything to you. You shouldn't believe me. If you believe everything you hear, you're a lemming. You're going to get led astray somewhere. You should test 
deliberate, consider, make your own decisions. But don't think what you're doing is right. Question. Aap de aapne question karna penda. Tajarbe banao. And early recovery is a good time to make big changes because you have to, or you're going to die. That's what it comes down to for so many. Who does medicine? Think about that. Food as medicine. This is becoming bigger in medicine worlds. You think people who misconsume get chronic pain? Does it make sense that like donuts don't work quite good as muscle tissue, as like healthy chronic pain? So food as medicine, really think about that. Oddly enough, I did a, I did a literature research and there's very little written about food and diet in the West, in addiction treatment centers, modifying diet. Because a lot of treatment centers just view us like gas, gas you got to provide food, hire, cook, cook, whatever, let them be happy, and then do the real learning. But consider if someone's better fed, properly fed, they'll learn 15 minutes worth of information in five minutes. Jaisi changa khande, jaisi pandra mintanch the information, panj mintanch jama kar sakte hain. You can do an hour's worth of work in 15 minutes. Right? That's efficiency. You need efficiency when you do learning. Je to see efficiency de nal chal de hain. Your one hour, one hour of effort, ideally, should equal one hour of benefit. At least. When your food, when your eating is not good, your one hour of effort will maybe be 0 0.1 hour of benefit. Meaning you'll have to put in 10 hours to get one hour. If you're eating really bad, you'll have to put 100 hours to put one hour. <laughs> and if you need 20 hours before you're healed and fine, well, it's going to take you a while. It'll take you 2,000 hours to get the job done. To get 20. <laughs> this is practical. I'm trying to make this practical and understandable. This is efficiency. Engineers know this. <clears throat> Inefficient information integration means you have to spend more time to get the same benefit. And at any time, you can die especially if you have a severe addiction. So, really think about what you eat and what you consume and optimize it so that your one hour is one hour. Usually where people are stuck, you know, now we're all about treatment-resistant addiction, recovery, when other things haven't worked, those are the people that we find do good here. But this is why. Or inevitably, I find the problem here. Recovery by day, gossip monger by night. That kind of thing. It just doesn't work. No one, no one comes out and tells you that, though. It's like, hey, my recovery's stuck because I'm uh, living a double life. <laughs> I wish they'd come in. I have to like be a little detective to figure that out. It's, you know, my recovery is not good because I'm doing one thing and I'm doing another thing. Smoking, good example. Okay? A lot of smokers around. 
So like you're sitting in a recovery class and then you go downstairs and I don't make a big deal of it, it's your life, but by going downstairs, walking downstairs and taking a cigarette, you have literally wiped clean 90% of the information you just received. 90% information, now it's 30 minutes, right? 30 minutes right now. You go downstairs after this lecture and then you just like wipe your slate clean. 99% of the information is lost. You might remember, but it won't make a difference. Well, why are you sitting in a chair? I said you're shooting yourself in the foot and you can say, oh, doctor, I'm addicted. Oh, I'm just saying you don't have forever. For these 14 days, 20 days, make big changes, get the information with high efficiency and then you'll do better. That's all I'm saying. So, food as medicine, if you optimize food as medicine, it'll increase your efficiency, you'll be more on this spectrum. You would go for an hour, you get one hour. No one ever really gets that. But, but, the, but at least go for an hour, get 45 minutes. Ek antivastic classic batho, pantali menta, tadi nala. 75%, that's good. But when you go and take that cigarette, remember, information isn't just cognitive, it's emotional. I'm speaking, but what keeps you from changing? It's not just cognitive understanding, it's layers of emotions and networks and information has to go really deep before you change. You know, in Ayurveda, we don't talk about this in much in the West, but what you eat something with matters as much as what you eat. There's this thing called vehicles. So for example, honey is a vehicle. When you eat stuff, this is like the, the grannies, right? They're like, grandmothers are like, oh, take this with honey, it's good. And modern medicine doesn't understand that. But when you take stuff at the right, with the right thing, so certain things, they're meant to be taken with honey. They go in deeper into your system, make more change. Modern medicine doesn't understand that. Modern medicine is stuck at Rakar, feed it carbohydrates, feed it this, feed it that. But sophisticated medicine, which you'll find in traditional Chinese medicine, you'll find it in Ayurveda, and you'll find it pretty much in every indigenous culture. Go ask an indigenous elder, they'll have, they'll have millions of things like this. Yeah, I'm not the expert of Ayurvedic medicine, so I, I it's just... Uh, Oddly enough, Prabhjit could give you a lot of examples. So she's like, she just gets the wisdom of like the, I was born in Canada, right? So like I haven't had the wisdom of the ages kind of flow into me. Uh, but uh, uh, honey, when you co-consume it with, uh, usually it's some kind of coughing medicine. Uh, like, 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 for example, a common one is like, uh, taking, uh, what do you call, adrik, adrik nuki kandi? Ginger. Ginger, yeah. So ginger and honey versus ginger alone. Honey will augment the ginger, somehow. I don't know how, but I've tried ginger alone, it doesn't work the same. Ginger with honey works better. Hmm? Good, yeah, good. Honey and ginger. <laughs> don't do that, okay? <laughs> He's talking about co-consuming ginger, honey, and alcohol. Don't. That's, although, although, <laughs> no, like growing up, that's what my dad would give me. Like a tiny bit of, uh, what was that? Brandy. 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 brandy, yeah, brandy. A little t tiny bit of brandy, tiny bit of honey. honey, and a tiny bit of ginger. And that would be my cough medicine. Sometimes with black pepper. With black pepper, right? Yeah. So like there's that. Yeah. If you're struggling with alcohol addiction, I don't suggest it. But, but, but the... the but the point is, is there's lots of things like that that affect. Uh, there is a, um, 
we're big on vitamins, right? Like everyone takes it once a day, but any vitamin expert will tell you it's not about the vitamins, it's about it's not what you take in your body, it's does it get absorbed? Because the most of your vitamins will either get peed out, Pashab then out vitamin nickel jande, jan susu nickel jande, jan tatij nickel jande. They go in your poop or they go but actually hanging on to vitamins if you have a low quality vitamin, like Shopper's Drug Mart, no offense to Shopper's Drug Mart, but if you take the like no name vitamin brand, not as much of it's going to get integrated in your system. Again, it comes back to efficiency. So this is part of the journey. Part of the journey of healing means looking at what you eat. You're not a gasoline driven car, you're far more sophisticated than your gas, but even your car needs its oil change, it needs its things lubed up, it needs this screw and that, and even a car is complicated, right? When you try to treat a car simple, it'll break down sooner. Maintaining your body means you must look at food as medicine, it means you must look at what you eat. This is repetitive because it's important. Any other questions? Good question. Thank you. Ko koi aur question hai kya ji? Punjabi ch? Samjhagi? Main Punjabi samjho main do minute dikho. Any questions about this? Does everyone have some ideas of some changes they could make? Put your hand up if you have some ideas of some changes you could make. Yeah, you know what you're talking about. Like, you know your life. You know, like I know. <laughs> I know I, there's some things I need to change. Sugar gets me every time. Processed sugar. If your sugar is processed, maybe try taking some unprocessed sugar, right? Big difference between processed sugar and unprocessed sugar. Punjabi is just see good candy. Sugar, process white stuff, change your white stuff to brown stuff, better. Change your brown stuff to good, even better. Right? And after a couple of days, weeks, months, definitely years, your system will integrate and function better. It's an investment. Cheap food's not always good food. Other questions? What other question have you? Oh, food as medicine, okay, but then how you eat also matters. Lots of science coming out on fasting. Okay? I didn't know, that. I was blown away. It's like, car doesn't work without gasoline. That doesn't make any sense, right? But the wise people, they know intermittent fasting, Muslims do this in Ramadan. Cultures, you, in yoga, it's a big thing. One day a week, you just don't eat. It's built into some religions. Right? Yeah, what's it called? Lent? Lent? There's, there's like, you know. There, 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 there's 40 days, right? It, it is, it's not coincidence that these things, your body changes its metabolism when you fast. You don't see kush khandini, system badal jandi hai. Or toxin or cotton lag jandi. It starts putting out toxic stuff. So if you've misconsumed for 30 years, maybe look at fasting. Go to a natural practitioner. Learn about it. Science is coming out about intermittent fasting where you, you, you eat for 8 hours, you don't eat for 16. Eat for 8 hours, don't eat 16. Or you pani pizza kli. Art kanti hanch sare ten meal karlo, sola kanti koshna kao. And what happens is, is that your, the studies show blood sugar is improved. I've seen people like their diabetes go away, insulin resistance comes way down. Just this, eat the same amount, eat the same stuff, but just eat it in an eight hour window. 
and don't consume more than 50 calories for the next 16 hours. This is called intermittent fasting. Water or no zero calories, or uh, like like little bits of fat. So uh, just look up intermittent fasting. There's lots written on it, and just see how you feel. Do it for a week, two Isn't weeks. Okay, life in the fasting lane. There you go. <laughs> Believe it or not, there's different kinds of fast. There's like banana fast. There's like apple fast. If you go into like Ayurveda, there's like lots of fast, different fasts. And I'm not endorsing all fat, and I'm not telling you if you have a medical condition. Don't say, Dr. Hill told me not to. Okay, <laughs> go talk to your doctor. But, but the point is, it's not even all just what you eat, it's how you eat it. Humans are not meant to consume little bits every day. We didn't evolve to have refrigerators. You know, Prabhjit's telling me all the time, there's certain seasons of the year that it's better to eat this thing. In the modern, so maybe the old generation knows this, but the new generation, we just, again, we're like, <laughs> just a gas. Does it doesn't matter if I put gas in my car in winter or summer. It's just gas is gas. You don't think about it. And you think your, your being is the same way, but it's not. You eat certain things in winter. It's better for you. And because we're like, we got grocery stores and food is brought from all over the world, that doesn't mean you're meant to have it. Seasonal variation of food, we change with the seasons. If all you eat is local, then that's automatic. But if you have a bit of money in a grocery store and a good supply chain, you can eat anything you like from all over the world at any season. Anything that's a good thing. You have to start thinking about food as medicine what you consume, how you consume, when you consume it. And that's holistic recovery. So I was asked to speak on food as medicine. Does that make sense to you? And then just to amp up the complexity, imagine if that's true for all of the things. I just talked about your mouth today. There's whole systems dedicated to each of these other areas. Holistic recovery, that's what it is. Some people think holistic recovery, oh, go to Nam, they'll prescribe you medical marijuana, and everyone's high and having. <laughs> Never written a medical marijuana prescription in my life. And then even marijuana, I, I'm going to stop talking because this is, this is getting a bit long, but marijuana ha is not meant to be consumed indiscriminately by everybody. It, oh, it's a natural plant. Yeah, for like people in the Caribbean, or like, <laughs> there's a way to consume these things, and how we do it is not how it's done. And so, whenever you consume something outside of the way it's meant, you're going to get side effects. Many cultures revere these herbs as sacred. They, they take them in a certain way. And when taken like that, it can be very medicinal. Tobacco, good example. How an elder... Hmm? It does. I mean, if you don't do the rituals, then it's like... Same drug, done with the <coughs> ritual, great medicine, done with the out it, poison. Couldn't have said it better myself. So we have to think about that. Food is medicine. If I misspoke, my apologies. Forgive me. We will... Any questions? Further questions? Good. Thank you all.